Hello, this is Mike, and I'm here to demonstrate a new feature for the fantasy football version of Draft Buddy. And what the feature is is called uh, MyFantasyLeague.com integration, and it's going to help us get keepers from our leagues into Draft Buddy uh, easier and faster than the uh, than previously. Now, here's a here's a copy of Draft Buddy, as if I just opened it, and I don't even have a league set up right now, at least a keeper league or dynasty league. You can see I have the uh, max keeper set to zero there is no keepers tab across the bottom so this really is draft buddy kind of out of the box and uh, over in my web browser I have a league that I want to use draft buddy for it is a league I compete in called the dynasty experts league it is a it is a deep dynasty league it has uh, 40 players uh, per team and these carry over every year I'll we'll just quickly show the rosters here yeah, you can see it's it's pretty deep. So 40 is the max number of players a team can have. There are 12 teams in this league. If you used Draft Buddy previously for a keeper league, you know that getting these this many players into Draft Buddy would take you know some time. Uh, the old method of putting the keepers in was to select a position, select the player using available drop downs on the keepers tab, and for that many players, you know it it would take a, a fair amount of time. So I think we've improved that quite a bit. Uh, but again, this only works if your league is on myfantasyleague.com. Okay, so let's set up Draft Buddy so I can show off this new feature. Uh, for this league, uh, it is 12 teams. Um, the uh, draft is 8 rounds. The max roster size is 40. And the max keepers is 40 because a uh, you know, team carry, can carry over every player from the prior year. Now, normally for Draft Buddy, you would set up your scoring at this point. You'd set up your starters and backups, maybe put in the owner's names. Uh, that type of thing. Um, I don't need to do that for the demonstration so we're going to skip those steps and we're going to go straight to the action tab and uh, set up Draft Buddy for this league. We need to make sure since it's a new league I'm setting up that the reset keepers, reset draft order and picks are both set to yes. That will reset all the tabs and I'm going to hit uh, compile cheat sheets. It's going to run through this process, create new cheat sheets for us for this league but also make the keepers tab visible, make sure it has enough spots on it for all our keepers, and adjust the other tabs appropriately for this league. Okay, so it uh, finished that uh, compiling. It uh, popped us over the offense uh, cheat sheet, which it does by uh, default, and then now we can see that there is a keepers tab here, so let's click on the keepers uh, tab, and it has now 40 spots to put in players for each of the teams. Now, like I said, the old method was simply you know, select the position, select the player, and then the, that player's team and bye week would appear. This player would update to the uh, rosters tab for this team. There's team two, Drew Brees. Drew Brees would fall off the cheat sheets over here on the offense tab uh, or the overall tab. There he is right there. He's grayed out. So the old method still works for inputting keepers. But uh, what we want to see is we want to see this new method using MFL integration so we can get all these keepers in here much faster than before. Okay, and the way we're going to do that is we're going to go to the Options tab. Now, I did it after compiling because I want to show that that is possible. You don't need to compile after changing these options. Uh, you can really do it either way. Uh, go to the Options tab. Uh, sorry, again, it's uh, this is what it looks like at the top. You're going to scroll near the bottom and find a box called MFL integration. And it says if myfantasyleague.com runs your league, let Draft Buddy help import keepers or draft results. Uh, for this part, we're doing just the keepers. Okay, so there's only one thing to fill in here, which you can see the one yellow highlighted box, and that is the league ID for your MFL league. And that is easy enough to find if you go to your league on the web. Every page on your MFL league has uh, this unique five digit ID in the URL. Uh, you can see it's uh, right at the top here, 17503. If I click back to the home page, it's also in the URL here, it's 17503. That is the number you want to grab and put into this box in Draft Buddy. So it's uh, 17503, hit return, and two. you'll notice that two links just appeared right over here. Uh, one says link to draft results, one says link to keepers. Uh, the, Keepers link is the one where is a key for us. It's also now appears on the Keepers tab, link to Keepers. Okay, and uh, the reason for this is going to take us to a page 
a separate page on on the internet which has all the rosters uh, formatted in the way that we want to pull them into draft buddy now i mean you know we saw the rosters over here uh right on the mfl uh league page we can't copy these into draft buddy the way they are the, na the names aren't formatted properly there's more information here than we want um so they aren't going to go into draft buddy very easily it's not you know, it's not going to be copying from here to to Draft Buddy. Uh, so, what we created was a separate page which formats the player names just the way we want them and by team. So let me click on that link, and it'll open up in the web browser. And here we go. Now we can see that you know it's got the same teams here. I scroll down a little bit, and you can see there's 12 teams here, and it's got the players for each team. Uh, in the format that we want. You know, it's got the position and the player name. All that's involved now is simply selecting these uh, players from each box and copying them into Draft Buddy. Uh, you have to do each team one at a time and it is a copy paste back and forth. So you know a little bit of work but not you know it's not going to take very long to to do that. I made the selecting fairly easy. Uh, you just have to click uh, select the team you want, click the select keepers link here okay and it highlights all of them and then control C or command C on a Mac to copy go over to draft buddy and find the team that that goes to let's I didn't put the team names in again but let's say football guys if I wanted in the team 2 slot uh, I'm gonna go control V and there we go okay they're into draft buddy it doesn't show the team in bye week yet okay now showing an error here because I've got Drew Brees here okay we'll delete him out that's gone but doesn't show the team in bye week yet. The reason because these are all in a single cell. Okay, you can see at the top here it's quarterback, comma Blaine Gabbert, uh, quarterback, comma Philip Rivers. Really, we want these split into two cells. Okay, but let's copy a few teams first. Okay, so we'll grab the next team and we'll put it in under team three. We'll grab my team, select, Control C to copy. Go over to Draft Buddy, put it under Team 4, Control V to paste, or Command V to paste. Okay, and now we've got three teams in here already. We just need to somehow split these apart. And that's what this button at the top is. It says Clean Keepers Copied In Via MFL Integration. All right, all we need to do is um, click this button. Okay, it's going to find which teams have. You know these the problem with the cells where they're in one and it's going to split them apart and that's just what it did right there. Okay, so now they're split apart. Now we're seeing the team in and by week. So all these players are now input in draft buddy just like that. They again should be on the rosters tab. There we go. Okay, they are going to be knocked off the cheat sheets. Now we see a lot more gray. Okay, a lot more players are taken. All right, and uh, for the rest of them we just need to do. The same thing for the other nine teams. You know, scroll down here, select another team, highlight it, uh, click Control C to copy, go back to Draft Buddy, put it in, and Control V. And that one split it up automatically. You may notice that after you do one where you've hit the Clean Keepers button, that the rest of them, because Excel kind of saves the method that you've split apart cells, uh, it may just do it automatically and you don't even need the button at that point. Okay, and you can see that is much easier than the previous method, which again still works and will be necessary if your league is not run on myfantasyleague.com, but if your league is MFL, then you've got a great new feature here to import the keepers uh, much easier and faster than before. So I hope you like that, and it should be uh, especially great for, for uh, deep leagues. And then we have another feature where we can import the uh, draft results from MFL, We'll show that in another video.